Hello, we are back with another video. This time I am going to show you guys how to use the calculator to find the mean, variance and also the standard deviation. Now what I have here is I've got a simple table showing the length in centimeters and the number of ribbons. All right. Now of course first we will need to find the midpoint. Now I can find the midpoint by just doing this. I take 26 plus 30 divide by 2, so that gives me the first midpoint. And for the second midpoint, 31 plus 35, divide by 2, and I get 33. And we go uh, the same steps for the others as well. All right. Now, obviously in the exam, we will need to show the steps. So what I've done here is I've gone ahead and prepared the uh, steps required. So that's mean. Now, if we calculate the mean manually, it simply means the uh, frequency multiply with the midpoint, and then next frequency multiply with the next midpoint and we have to find the sum the denominator would be the total frequency in this case here will be 14 plus 18 plus 26 plus 30 and plus 12 right now uh, the purpose of this video is to show you guys how we can verify uh, or get obtain these values here for the mean and uh, these values here for the variance or to also find the standard deviation. So first, I'll begin with this calculator. This is the 570MS, all right? Now for the basic calculator, we will need to uh, tap the mode button twice. That's one, two, and you will see SD with the number one below that. So I go ahead and press one. Uh, this means that the calculator is ready to accept the data. Now, uh, the way we do it is like this, okay? First, we have to key in the uh, midpoint first, followed by the frequency. So the first midpoint is 28, the first frequency is 14. So I'm going to type 28. Now, to put the data in correctly, um, you see there's a comma button right there, yeah? But I need to press shift and comma, and that will get that a semicolon. The frequency is 14, so 1, 4. And now to store the data, go ahead and press M+. Plus. So when it shows 14, it means it's, uh, it's, it's counting the frequency as we key in the data one by one. Now the uh, second row is 33 and 18. So 33, shift, comma, and then 18. Once again, M+. Plus. All right, the next one is 38, shift, comma, Followed by 26. And then don't forget M plus. Uh, next one, 43. Shift, comma. Frequency is 30. M plus. And finally, it's 48. Shift, comma. Frequency is 12. And then M plus. So here we get N equal to 100. That's because the total frequency here is equal to 100. All right. Now, how do I use the calculator? Well, once we have already keyed the data and stored everything into this calculator, we can go ahead and just hit the AC button that clears the screen. But don't worry, the memory is still stored in the calculator. All right. So now, remember the working where I prepared to find the values for the mean? Well, the sum of the numerator here is supposed to be 3840. The total is 100. Okay. So the way we do it, we find the numbers here is like this. So you press shift and one. That gives us the sum values, all right? Now uh, for the mean, it's number two. That's sigma x. So I type two and press equal. So do you see we get 3840? That's right there, 3840, okay? Now just in case if you want to find the number 100, we can go ahead and press shift one again. But this time it's number three for n. That's the total frequency. So I press number three and I press equal, I get 100. So that's right there. Okay. Now to obtain the mean value from the calculator, we press shift and two. Do you recognize the mean symbol? That's X bar, that's number one. So I go ahead and press number one and I press equal to and I get 38.4. That's right there. Okay. Now, of course, we have to prepare the uh, calculation or the working and then we can get the values from the calculator and just uh, put them in okay now I can also do the same thing to find the variance or even standard deviation I prepared the working here now obviously the mean 38.4 we get it from here so you put that in there all right and to find these values here so now back to the calculator 
Uh, this time I press shift one again and we use number one, that sigma x squared. So I press number one, I press equal to, and notice it's 151240 that matches with that number there. Okay. Of course, this is 100 because it is the total frequency from the denominator. All right. Now, to find the uh, answer for the variance or even the standard deviation, we now press Shift 2, um, but it's number 2 now. Okay. Because number 1 is mean, number 2, when I press number 2 and I press equal to, I get 6.151, which is actually the standard deviation. That's because the calculator is not able to give us the variance. Now, if we want to obtain the variance, which is clearly this number, 37.84, well, all you do is just tap square, right there, square, and then equal, and we get 37.84. So that's the variance, and that is the standard deviation, okay? All right, that's for this calculator, 570MS, okay? Now, I'll make a second video for the other calculators as well because I don't want to uh, get you guys confused because some of you are using this calculator. Some of you may be using a different version of the calculator, but I will use the same question, the same table as this, okay? All right, hope you guys can uh, try this out and see whether it works for you. All right then, until next time, ta-ta, bye-bye.